I love being able to show love through food and seeing people's faces light up when they receive their food is just like such an amazing feeling. My name is Avery George and I'm a culinary student right now. My grandma would be the reason that I'm interested in, in food at all. She really instilled that passion of cooking and showing that love through food to others. Being organized is such a big thing in this industry because if you aren't organized, your whole day can be wrecked just by not having a clear idea of what you want to get accomplished that day. And really just having like the basic fundamental knowledge behind why you're doing certain things is so important. So an average day, you usually come in, you set up your station, kind of get your mental mise en place ready, kind of, you know, get into the swing of things, sharpen your knife if you need to, and then you're going to pull out all your ingredients and get your, all your mise en place out, and that's really when you just start going through your recipe and following your recipe and doing what it says, and then hopefully by the end of it you have a fantastic meal, and then you get to eat it, which is the great part. <laughs> These are my skills, and that is such an amazing feeling to be able to see that look on the other person's face. And that's the whole reason that I'm in this program, is to get that feeling from others and just being able to see that. It's just, I don't know, it's so hard to explain, but it's, it's an amazing feeling. I like cooking because there's such a wide variety of possibilities, like endless possibilities of what you can do. I get to kind of put a little bit of myself into every dish that I make. You know, I get to be creative. My name is Nikki Layden and I'm a chef here at the Claremont. My name is Jay Gibson and I'm a chef and a server here at the Claremont. I learn by like actually doing, you know, so just jumping in and starting somewhere and then also getting the knowledge from school and uh, perfecting your technique. You know, a lot of places will start you out on the line and prep and you can just kind of um, take it slowly from there and, and we'll give you the tools that you need. And um, definitely, you know, if you can take classes, even if you're just interested in, in learning to cook at home and, you know, if you can take a couple classes, it definitely helps just realize, you know, what it entails. I think it's important to be diligent and um, close attention to detail. Having a thick skin is good too. You know, sometimes things get a little bit crazy in the kitchen and um, an ability to kind of not things, not take things personally and have fun with it and really just, um, yeah, just do your, do your best, you know, is, is Get overwhelmed, yeah, because yeah. you can get a lot of tickets just getting your focus in on what's in front of you at the time and not getting overwhelmed by the whole picture. You know, when it, when it comes down to it, sometimes you've got, you know, 10, 15 tickets in front of you and you're trying to do two or three things at once. And if you're not um, great at communicating, sometimes um, you know the pressure can get to people, and um, it can get a little bit intense. If you love to eat, you love food. Um, there's so much you can do with it. It's so much fun, um, especially now. Like there's so much growth in the industry, and so many different avenues that you can take with it. And if it's something that you're passionate about, you can make anything that you love in in cooking. A career you know you really can and there's so many different niche markets that you can really just run with it yeah this is a career you can literally have anywhere in the world people eat yeah. <laughs> it's a definite it's never gonna change